Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Tables can be very useful tools when working with a publication. You can use them to display data for a publication, to add a colorful grid to a design, or even to use as an invisible alignment tool for page objects. These are not all of the possibilities of tables, of course, but a few common examples. A table is a structured layout of information containers arranged in vertical columns and horizontal rows. The individual containers are called cells. They are often used to store data, although publisher can use them to organize page objects by creating a structure for the page layout. To create a basic table, click either the Table button in the Tables group on the Insert tab in the ribbon, or click the Table button in the Objects group on the Home tab in the ribbon. Either will do the same thing. So if we look on the Home tab, for example, again, we can look under Objects, and Table is located right here. Alternately, you can click on the Insert tab in the ribbon, and then you can go to the Tables group here and click on Table as well. Again, same thing. Now when you click the Table button, it will display a grid along with a command in a drop-down menu. If you want to create a simple structured table, roll your mouse pointer out and over the grid by the number of columns and rows that you want to insert into the table. The dimensions of the table will be shown above the grid as a number of columns and rows when you roll your mouse pointer over the grid, like that. Then you just click your mouse when you have the desired number of columns and rows highlighted in order to insert a table for the displayed dimensions into your page. And just give it a click like that. And we'll go ahead and undo that for right now. Now, after creating a table, and we have one already created over here, you'll probably want to perform some data entry. Moving into cells to enter information is very easy. You either click with the mouse into the cells into which you wish to enter the information, or you can press the tab key on your keyboard, like that, to move from cell to cell, left to right, and top to bottom. Now, keep in mind that if you press the tab button when you are at the last cell in a table, meaning the lower right corner, in this case over here, and I press tab, Publisher is going to insert a new row for you in order to continue the data entry. So for now we'll undo that. Cells can also contain many lines of text if needed. Entering text into a cell works in the same manner as it does when entering text into a document. When the text reaches the cell's border, it automatically wraps itself. You only need to press enter on your keyboard if you want to create a new paragraph within a cell. So we can go into our existing table here and complete entering our data. Very easy. Again, clicking tab moves me to the next cell in the group. Now another way to create a table is to click either the Table button in the Tables group on the Insert tab in the ribbon, or to click the Table button in the Objects group on the Home tab in the ribbon, as we've seen before, and then select the Insert Table command from the Buttons drop-down menu. Let's look at that. So we'll go back up to Insert, and we'll use that drop-down menu, and you can just click Insert Table, which is down here at the bottom. We'll give that a click. Now this opens the Insert Table dialog box that we see here. And in this dialog box, you enter the number of columns and the number of rows that you want the table to possess into the two boxes that are provided. And then you just click OK to create that table. So that's just another way to create a table if you like. We'll go ahead and undo that. Now note that once you have a table selected in your publication, as we do here, you'll see the Table Tools Contextual tab appear within the ribbon, up here. Within this Contextual tab are the Design and Layout tabs, which contain the button groups you can use to make changes to the selected table. So we see Design here and Layout right here. Now you can make adjustments to the height 
of the columns and the width of the rows within your table using your mouse. To do this, place your mouse pointer over the border of the column or row you wish to adjust until the mouse pointer turns into an icon of a double line with an intersecting arrow through it. When your mouse pointer looks like that, you just click and drag to adjust the column width or row height. So for example, this first column here, we could click right here and move that over to make a little bit more room and the data will then be easier to read. To delete a table that you've inserted, simply click the border of the table to select it. So we can come up here and click it. And then press the delete key on your keyboard to delete the selected table object from the page. Like that. We'll go ahead and undo. Now alternately, you can delete a table by clicking into any cell within the table and then clicking the delete button in the rows and columns group on the layout tab of the table tools contextual tab within the ribbon. So again we'll look up here on the layout tab and you'll see over here in the rows and columns group delete we could click delete and we can say delete table and that would do the same thing. For now we'll go ahead and undo that. So that's how you create and delete tables and now we'll look at how you manipulate that data inserting and deleting columns and rows into an existing table in the upcoming lessons. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.